right. Good evening or good morning or good afternoon, depending on where you're from, where you're um, joining us in the chat. I'm Ruben, founder and CEO of Engrave, and uh, I'm here to answer any questions you might have. So I'm going to wait for maybe a few seconds. The questions can can already be posted if you have any. And um, as from the, as from let's say in, in two or three minutes, I'll start um, answering them and maybe also give a bit of extra context. And feel free to say hello in the chat so that we know who is actually joining us. Ah, uh, yeah. So this is also part of the Engrave office. I'm sitting here next to actually uh, a few boxes. This is one of the boxes with leaflets that we're going to send. <laughs> we have many more of those. Um, and I think it, it's also interesting to see the packaging for once. So uh, for example, right here, if one of the, these amazing boxes that will come your way if you ordered one, this is the combo box. You um, also the smaller box right here. So this is a small engraved zero box, as you can see. So this is my daily workplace. I guess you were probably wondering where the hell I'm doing all this from with, with my amazing team. Um, so let's see. Uh, all right. I think it's mostly up to you guys. Uh, it's uh, an AMA and ask me anything. Uh, it, will it be stocking already? I guess he meant staking. Um, staking, it's in the research and development stage. So um, we, we're definitely looking into it deeply and profoundly because we know that it's on the wish list of many of the users, but we can't really confirm anything yet on the staking side. Um, maybe just before we really dive in, which just throw your questions, that's great. Um, I just wanted to, to say, Whoever is in the audience and who is a backer, uh, I want to reassure you. Uh, um, first of all, if you got the update, and in principle, you should have gotten the update. If you haven't, it's an update from two days ago. It contains a video um, of me explaining why there will be, let's say, one last real delay before we actually start shipping. Um, and so if you didn't get that, look into your spam folders or contact us, and we'll, be, we'll make sure you, you get the, the actual communication. Um, apart from that, uh, so um, from our side, everything is actually going really well. The team is only getting stronger. We're getting closer to shipping. And uh, like I mentioned in the video last time, more specifically, um, there are two things we're, we're, we're doing now in the, in the last phase of the full industrialization. One of them is we have to build, uh, we have to fully assemble these final devices. We've already done that previously, but in that step, you were more like, checking if there were still optimizations we could do. Uh, we found a few things that we thought like, okay, why not just do it now and, and fix this for every zero we will ever make. So that's why we, we always, let's say in this iterative process, we, we do stop if we see that we can improve quality and we do it. And we could do it the other way around and we could just skip it and, and send you a product that maybe has some kind of dysfunctionalities that you won't even notice, but, but that's not, that's not our, that's not, let's say, in in concordance with our values. So we really want to, we really believe in, in 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 bringing you the best quality there is, the best security there is, the best user experience there is, and there isn't a hair on our head that thinks twice about if we have to choose between doing such an optimization or putting an extra week in the in the in the in the. In the okay, in in the planning, that's what we do. In the long run, that's what you will remember that you have an amazing device. Um, so the last two steps we have to do in the full initialization process, it's uh, assembling all of these final zeros, yeah, which we're doing right now. It's on top of that, we do test functionally. We have to check zero, is, is, is the fingerprint working? Is the camera working? Is every, is every single functionality you would expect from the device? Is it doing what it should do? So, so that's one part. 
and we're advancing well on that. And then the second part, and this is something very special, uh, we are, so just before you put your, let's say that zero into the box and it's ready for shipping, um, you're doing a um, secure flashing uh, step. So basically you're, you have secure firmware that you flash on the device uh, that will take over all of the security functions. So if you enter your PIN code or if you sign a transaction with a private key, uh, it's that operating system that will protect you. Uh, and as you might have might know by now, that operating system that I'm talking about with us, it's EAL7 certified. That's the highest in the world. There is nobody else who does better. Um, so that that's basically another, let's say, proof of how serious we are about your security. And that step is pretty challenging yeah, because right now there hasn't been any solution in the world that has gone this far in innovating on that level of security. And nobody has implemented that EAL7 kind of uh, security into a crypto wallet. So that step, therefore, was for us sometimes still with a little bit of question marks. And we also have to figure out, like, OK, what, what are the things we still have to do with the very intricacies of co connecting the two operating systems we have and making one of them, and then basically uh, get your zero to the shape it should be. And that's what we um, also worked on in the last month. So we, we, we checked planning. We tried to figure out what the, what the details were in, the, in that planning on a daily basis. And now, right now, we've done that, actually. Um, and so that, that means that we now are very, very comfortable about the planning. We also took a little bit of buffer uh, to make sure that this time we give you uh, the real deal when we, when we uh, come close to our, our um, communicated uh, deadline, let's say. And, and also what might be interesting is that obviously after that, the next step is packaging and shipping. Those two things, they're ready to go. They're basically just waiting for the zeros to get into that box and everything will go pretty smoothly. Uh, full supply chain is set up. All right, so I think by now, there probably are a few questions. Um, let's see. And, and hello everybody, by the way. I won't say hello to everybody personally, but uh, I'm, I'm very happy that you're in the chat. Um, let's see. So I have one here from Spanish Bull. It does the wallet support GRT token? Uh, yes, uh, because the GRT is ERC20. So um, that means that you will definitely support it and you will have it from day one. Um, second question is from Relaxed Geld Ease. If our engrave breaks or we lose it, what wallet can we use the engrave key to import? Um, the random num letters numbers concept is not one I've seen before. Yeah, so first of all here, um, it's important to know that we support everything that is industry standard. And so if we talk about a mnemonic phrase of 24 words or even 12 or 18, we support that. You can make that with our device. You can also import that on, in our device. Um, and indeed, uh, obviously we, we work or we prefer to work with the perfect key because it has uh, many advantages uh, it resolves almost, uh, it actually resolves pra practically all the pitfalls that Menomot seed. Um, if you know how our product works, you, you will you understand well um, what, what I mean with that. But uh, your question is, what if my zero breaks and there are no zeros left in the world, uh, what can I do? Well, we're actually, the, the, the key is compatible with the mnemonic word uh, version. And as you might know, the mnemonic word version is actually it's an own translation that other people than us made that represents your actual real master key. So the real key you make with your device, it's 256 zeros and ones, eh? 256 bits. And yeah, obviously you as a person cannot remember that. Uh, and even if you write it down, there's a lot of room for mistake. So the tre treasure team together with some other people, they invented the words and we looked at those words. We really liked it but we, because of the simplicity, but you also noticed there were some things that weren't that, that good about it. And so we, we decided to go for the hexadecimal um, version and hexadecimal um, notation basically just means that you have 64 characters. As we take 24 words, you have 64 characters. Uh, and each character has 16 possible values, 0 to 9, A to F. So they call it hexadecimal, 16, uh, basically in Greek. Um, and so this is actually fully compatible with any of the other formats. So you could go to, for example, um, online conversion tools that exist today, like iancoleman.io. And um, there you could already uh, do, do the 
uh, do the conversion right now if you would like to. And obviously we will also put um, stuff online to make that conversion possible, but you can even do it without us. So the decentralized aspect of what we offer remains, remains intact. Um, next question, can you, re can you buy the engrave with crypto? Yes, so you can buy it with Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum, DAI or Bitcoin Cash. And we know that right now it's not always as transparent if you go throughout the full process, but um, the true checkout process, but in the end of the process, you will actually see that you can pay with crypto. Um, and in the new version of the website, this will also become much clearer, but, uh, like, but let's say the, the main point is that you can, you can purchase a wallet with crypto. Um, then Jelle van der Wal, is quantum computer a threat for crypto wallets in general? Um, yeah, so so there um, there's a, I, there has been a lot of talk about that, but um, the, the easiest way to think about it is if you want to crack uh, your master key, your master key is 256 bits long. That means that if you would translate that into decimals, a uh, system we all know a bit better. So that's 10 to the 80 power, 10 to the 78 power, more or less, and that you can it's more or less the same as the number of estimated atoms in the universe. So you're asking a computer to brute force and to try every single possible value that the key could have. And the possible values, there are as many as there are atoms in the universe. So you're asking, can you guess which atom I have in my head somewhere on the other side of the galaxy? Um, and today that is utterly impossible with quantum computers. They aren't even close to the capacity they would need for that. Even 128 bits, they would, wouldn't be able to crack. Um, an, easy, an easy fix for this, if a computers would improve, could be by uh, making your key longer, eh? because if you make 256 bits to, for example, 512, suddenly uh, you exponentially increase the issue or the problem of, uh, of cracking the key. And yeah, your quantum computer has to start all over again. But um, right, there are many ways that you can, can get across that quantum issue, computer issue. I think what's most important for you as a user of crypto, it's that um, there are many other systems that will break before crypto will break. Eh? Uh, many other systems that are much easier to crack well, signal that quantum computing is advancing to a level maybe faster than we think, and um, that eventually um, Bitcoin might be next. Eh? But by the time we get there, um, okay. so also there, if you, if because I, I try to keep the answers a bit shorter, but um, okay. I can get carried away with <laughs> with these questions. So um, I'm trying to keep it short. If you need more information, uh, you can always contact us, and we are happy to provide. Then uh, Thomas Popato. Can we earn BTC on the engraved device? Um, so I'm not sure what you mean with that. Do you mean like lending, um, working together with the lending platform? Um, so if, if you could maybe re rephrase the question so I understand better what you what you mean. Like, is it staking? Is it uh, earning interest? Is it something else? Uh, happy to respond. The warranty of the device is two years. Um, also for quantum computing, um, uh, if, if you, it's no threat if you never use the same address twice, and it's also something that uh, the zero actually supports, and you can just create new addresses and then use those. Um, next question: We paid in ETH, and now ETH price is so high. Will you give us any benefits of it? Yeah. So um, I think there it has it needs to be clear that w the moment we get um, get these transfers, we convert them directly to um, into fiat money. Uh, the reason is because uh, we, we have to deal with regulations here in, in our country and um, they're very strict. So we, we, we basically just converted the spot. And that means that we um, do that the conversion rate at that moment, the exchange rate at that moment. And also, I think what's very important here is that you can, the, the, the principle of buying an engraved wallet is not to use us as your um, arbitrage partner. Uh, so basically, you could say, I buy a wallet today. It, that's the price five months from now if the if the device stays the same or ether remains the same i don't care uh and if ether goes up i'm just i'm just asked for a refund so um that's let's say that constellation that setup is just um okay, it's 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 very um okay, unbeneficial compared to us and you would just use us in a sort of a in no risk arbitrage uh, partner um Yes, then 
somebody bought on August, they said, so digital coin said you bought on August. When will it arrive in, in Spain? Um, yeah, so please refer to the last up to the last update. We send it uh, beginning of the week. We explain uh, that there is a little bit of a delay. It's not, um, and and I also, we also have a full video of me explaining what actually why that's the case. And I also explained it a bit in the beginning of of this uh, of this AMA. So have a look at the update. And remember, the, the live here will remain uh, available on YouTube also after the after the uh, after we we stop. Um, can you swap between coins on the Liquid app? Uh, yes, and uh, not yet, but token swaps and more specifically offline token swaps will be available uh, in the future. Uh, so we actually have a full list uh, in the backlog with token, sw uh, token swap are going to integrate with, uh, for example, Changely is one of them uh, that we are, I think have at the earliest ones on the list. Um, so the idea there is you can sign a transaction um, say you sign a Bitcoin transaction, you tell the, the platform that you want to get it in the, in return. Um, so you sign the number of Bitcoins you want to, you want to swap for that. You get it, it back from the, from the platform. And so basically you also, they are not at risk apart from maybe the, the Bitcoin you're actually sending eh, because that depends on what the token, um, uh, swap platform will do, but there you can normally okay, rest assured that we only work together with, with the, the the, I mean, the good platforms. Um, and the beauty is, of course, that your private keys remain offline. You sign these transactions with your private keys. So it's a, it's an, it's a much more secure process than if you would do it with a hot wallet. Um, then we have Alex Magnus Box who asks, what is are the biggest challenges in the design and development process to manufacture engrave to maintain the production integrity? with its partners. Um, I'm not sure I fully understand the question. Um, is it, so it's not challenges in the design and development process, but more what are the challenges to maintain the pro production integrity with its partners? So yeah, so we, part of, let's say, our exercise or analysis in the market of which sort of supply chain are we going to set up and more specifically even where, uh, we, um, we, we, thought, we thought long about that, we, we checked different, uh, and the options compared to each other. And for us, the most important was that you as a user, you, you're you safe and you know that the device we we bring to you is, is a high quality. So we actually, we actually our full supply chain or let's say 90% 90, 90 of our supply chain for, for sure is in is in Belgium. So it's within one, two hours drive max away from our headquarters. And if there is any issue, we go there. And let's say the, the devices are flashed. Uh, so the secure flashing happens. Uh, with one of our own um, offline encrypted, uh, very secure computers that um, puts the operating system on your device. And uh, all of these partners are in Belgium. So uh, it's, it's a very trusted supply chain that we have a lot of control on. Um, yeah, then Tian Amamola, it, uh, it will support Theta and T-Fuel. So we have them on our watch list. They are actually in the backlog, but after shipping, uh, we will share a more detailed roadmap on coin supports. We also are going to make it a bit more CRAT sourced, let's say. The first two that we can already confirm as the first ones are uh, VeChain and uh, Cardano. And after that, we we are still uh, we still have some time to figure out the ones we believe you would like most on your on your zero. Um, since the launch will will your coin support be better at launch? Uh, we're looking into that, so it's possible, but we won't promise anything right now. Um, um, but it's, it's possible. And this, after the launch, a new coin support will be I mean, much much faster and easier than than it is today, um, because all the building blocks will be fully in place. Your zero is ready, so it will all depend on firmware upgrades. So actually, that part will become much much faster uh, when we talk coin support. Gianni Bologna, hello Ruben. Also remember tutorial device in Italian, thanks. Uh, French, Dutch, English, and Spanish will be support. Uh, yeah, so um, right now uh, we have the device uh, already programmed for the, the Spanish language, the English language, the uh, Dutch language, and the French language. And as I speak Italian, for me, uh, if you have any issues, just send an email to support and me or somebody from the team will help you immediately. And um, we will we will also be able to 
um, I mean, get, get, get the Italian language quite fast on zero, then on the liquid. And, and yeah, obviously we have to also push that through in every other content we make. But uh, I mean, the Italian language is one of the first that's gonna, it's gonna jump on the device. Then Jared's Hyrule Engrave supports the Flare token when launched. So we support um, uh, Ripple from the start, and um, we're already looking at, at Flare. But we cannot promise it will be supported from the start. But it's XRP derived, so I mean, it's it's not a big a big um, addition we have to do, um, on that level. The franchise really. This wallet, how many orders will be fulfilled for the original batch in April? Um, so I think there, the the important thing is that we we were able to to um, fulfill all the all the pre orders, all the pre orders we got so far. We were able to fulfill them. Uh, and if you should talk about yeah the original batch in April, yeah. So we will start shipping in April. It might take a, a few days, a few weeks, but. Um, Right. Normally, it should go fast, and you, if you're in the the bad zero, for example, rest assured you will get your device very quickly. Um, Ru five hundred four. If the engraved keys are generated offline, how does the crypto world know not to assign those keys to anyone else? Yeah. So, in, in uh, to keep this short, um, like I mentioned a few questions ago, what actually happens is you create a key with a very strong process that is specialized in generating strong keys, which means if, if, uh, that in general, in theory, you should be able to even create keys up to, uh, two to two, 256 power, which is 10 to the 80, which is the number of atoms in the universe, right? So um, if you have a strong key generation process, you will go somewhere close to that big number. And that means that the odds that you get the same key as somebody else, just by doing that process, it's one, it's out of that huge number. So if you would say one out of a billion, that would mean that if, if let's say one out of 10 billion, that would mean that there, there isn't any chance that anybody in the world would get your same key. But we're not talking about one in a billion, we're talking about one in a billion, times a billion, times a billion, times a billion, uh, 10 times. Um, so so it's uh, humanly unfathomable how small that odd is, but the only thing you have to remember is that it is uh, impossible that somebody else will ever have the same key as you. Um, and we also actually have a whole article about that on our blog where you can actually see like, okay, what does this mean if, if I compare it to guessing Bill Gates, the richest man on earth, his um, two-factor authentication number, his bank account, and, and basically st steal all his money by just guessing. Uh, will there be a swapping facility in Engrave among crypto? Yeah, so that's the token swap. Uh, we will uh, support token swaps in, in uh, this year. Um, E.g., is there going to be a definite date on when people in the UK who have ordered will receive their orders? As, so, I don't um, yeah, the shipping time depends on the destination country. So um, we will be able to tell you that a bit closer to when we are about to ship, but um, I, I cannot tell you yet the definite date. But in any case, it's the, one of the closest countries to, to Belgium. Christophe Lejanti. Are you in contact with XSL Labs for the SWL? Uh, thanks. No, but uh, happy if you. It would be. I would be happy if you introduce us, uh, if you know them, and and we can we can definitely uh, go from there. Any Snook is PIVX supported. It's also on the watch list. Uh, so roadmap will be announced after we start shipping. Then a uh, question from Digital Coin: Engrave private keys can only be entered in another engrave. Or can we integrate them into the ledger? Uh, yeah, so I think I answered that already. Um, you can actually convert your engrave keys on the device or also on other platforms into the Word version, and then you can you can import them in your ledger. Okay, uh, crypto Kyle. So Liquid App is required with Engrave. Um, in the beginning, the very, very beginning, yes. Uh, we, we developed the Liquid so that you can fully benefit from the, uh, the Engrave uh, solution. But our goal in, to, uh, in this year is really to integrate with uh, all of your favorite online platforms. So if you have a favorite exchange, a favorite hot wallet, a favorite uh, DeFi wallet or DeFi uh, platform, 
we will integrate with them uh, uh, sooner or later. And you will be able to uh, use whatever you like with R0. And also the, the Liquid app itself will also be open, open sourced. And also here may be interesting is uh, obviously the first ones we're looking at are the big ones like MetaMask, Electrum, and, and some of the big exchanges. Uh, you're welcome, Gianni. Will you be selling engraved tokens from in your face? Well, we are not a token project. We are a project to protect tokens. So in the first sense, we will not be issuing any tokens. Um, we do we do we do actually think that it, it's that it's a, a use case. Well, we see ourselves as a company that wants to foster blockchain adoption. Uh, so that means that wherever we can, we also want to put our shoulders on our projects, or let's say if there, there are security tokens uh, like STOs, that's something that we could do. That's something we could bring to market. And we might do that, we don't know, or don't know yet. But uh, let's say we have a lot of uh, users that um, enter our ecosystem, have their own in Grave Zero. I think it would be very interesting to reward them for, by, for example, getting them first into a sort of a, a equity round that is structured through STOs. Um, but but uh, so not an ICO, but an STO, where you really get equity of the company, not uh, not not let's say a share of the the way the the network works, so like a utility token. Um, yeah, but also with the with the engraved token, what could be interesting is is the is for example a DAO eh, where people can actually choose or vote about features uh, um, or sharing profits profits. So. There are so many use cases you can think of there. It's, it's something we will definitely look into, but it's very early now to, to talk about that. Then uh, Raihan Tech, please work with the DOT and Cardano team so that zero supports, supports staking benefit from the beginning. Yeah, so we, um, we're we supporting DOT, Cardano will support right after launch, and staking is something that we will be implementing in 2021 because there are so many people uh, asking for it. Then I see Crypto Kyle. Um, Liquid app isn't released yet, is it? Or is it? <laughs> uh, no, it's it's not released. It also wouldn't make any sense because right now the first thing you have to do with your app is you have to sync with zero. So it means that the only thing you can do with the app, um, the first thing you have to do with the app is you have to uh, scan the QR code on your zero that contains all the addresses that were generated by your zero. And then you will have those uh, accounts visible in real time in your in your app and you can you can start doing transactions and so on as long as account can the zero through much use case for, for the wallet and also we believe it makes a lot more sense to uh, have you wait a bit longer and and push that together with everything else of the solution Can you show us a quick demo of the app? Yeah, sure. Um, just have to find my phone. I can see. <laughs> uh, yeah. Not really funny. So fortunately, my phone is a bit broken, but um, here it is. So here, here, here is the the app. I just um, scanned my zero. So now he he um, synchronized successfully. Obviously, you have to imagine this in a more in a bit more a more fancy phone, and then it actually loads in all your accounts. And so you see here, you have a dashboard. You have uh, BNB, uh, Tron, Bitcoin. Um, eternity, and you have you have uh, the full full um, the total amount of your portfolio, and then you can see that you have the coins from here. You can open them up. You can uh, let's, let's take Bitcoin, maybe for example. Uh, so you take Bitcoin, you take one of the addresses, and within the account of Bitcoin, you can see uh, what came in, 
what 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 went out and you can receive and send transactions and it's very simple so you just say if you want to receive a transaction um so you basically just either show this to your recipient or you uh, copy paste it here um and if you go back you can also send transactions so you um you don't have to define the amount the the gas fee if you will obviously the, the address you want to send it to you can show you can you can do that and then you can show the qr code that's generated out of this uh and you can scan it with your with your zero uh, this is a development model but uh, you can scan it with you can then scan it with the zero which um will then allow you to send a transaction offline with your fingerprint with your uh, pin code it will show the transaction signature and you can scan it with your app but um I don't have any addresses out of my head right now to, to fill in at the recipient. Otherwise, I would show you. Um, yeah. But so that's that's the app. For... Let's see how many questions I I missed. Uh... Can we buy with no KYC from Engrave? Uh, yeah. So there is no uh, KYC required when you use your Engrave vault or when you buy an Engrave vault. Um, so if you think about if you are very uh, uh, sensitive about your personal data, what you can do is you can uh, create a special email address, uh, just a one-time email address that you use to uh, for the order. Eh? And so we can ship it to even a PO box or post office box that you just designated somewhere where you don't live, linked only to that email address. And we can send it then there, you, 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 get, you get it, and we have absolutely no data on you. Um, also, what you need to know is the way we um, manage the data of our customers. So we already keep everything offline. So we have an offline terminal protected with smart cards. And so it's very secure, it's encrypted and so on. Um, that's where your data is stored. That's also where let's say the, the, the links are stored with our only online platform, uh, our e-commerce platform, which is Shopify. It's a multi-billion dollar company. They have very good security. but. Um, from the moment that we have shipped your uh, device, we will keep your uh, data for three months, and then we will delete everything except your email address. And everything is, in any case, kept offline, and your email address is also kept offline always. And you as a user also have, uh, uh, according to the data privacy rules, uh, like the GDPR legislation, for example, you have the right to be forgotten. So if you think that's not enough, you just uh, you just get send us an email, you tell us, I, I want to be forgotten completely, so I don't even want you to uh, remember my email address, and we will delete also that last part of information. So you can do it like this, um, or, you can, or you can also even make it more extreme and go with the PO box and your own uh, email address that you created for the purpose of receiving your wallet. Then uh, Viviana Cruz, will you be tracking the delivery of the wallets in case of malfunctions? Um, will we be able to replace them at no no charge? Yeah, so we have a two-year warranty, like uh, uh, I previously mentioned. Um, so if, the, if there's anything wrong with the device that's not related to your own strange behavior, uh, you can contact us and we will do the best we, we, we can to, uh, to help you out. Is there a referral program for zero? Yes, uh, um, I think. And normally, I will, I will, I will post it in the link or under the video, maybe, um, or in the chat or under the video later. You can also contact support at engrave.io, uh, and they will immediately give you the link. So if you are a backer, you, you can actually get referrals on any other people you bring in, and the link uh, you, you can find you can find uh, through, through support. Next question comes from Juan Camilo Bardo. When will you upload more tutorials in YouTube, with more details and explanation of the latest upgrade so that we can learn how to use the zero and ask more um, specific questions? Yeah, so together with the, the launch, we will also actually release a whole batch of uh, tutorial videos um, that are extremely hands-on, extremely vis visual, so that you will actually see your device into interacting with your with your app and, and and with you also about the graphene, how you really punch it. So every single thing you can think of, there will be a tutorial of it. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. In the moment you get your device, you will, you will have that. Then 
Mele Agant, euh, vous pensez collaborer avec Metamask plutôt vers été ou vers la fin d'année pour savoir si j'ai précommande. Donc, uh, yeah, so the question is, um, will you work together with Metamask, let's say by the summer or rather by the end of the year? Um, this is not entirely under our control. It also depends on Metamask. We, from our side, are very big fans of doing this with Metamask. We also use those wallets ourselves. Um, so yeah, it depends a bit on on their on their side, but I think I think um, you can expect it to be one of the first integrations. In your face asks, will you keep the fees low? Um, so that depends on which fees you talk about. But in essence, at the fees between zero liquid, uh, they are non non existent. Um, because it's it's the same wallet you're talking about. If you then send transactions uh, over the Ether network to um, I mean, to the network or to our exchange and so on, those will be the fees from the from the blockchain. So we don't take any fees on that. Um, there is a difference in when you, for example, buy crypto on a platform and then you send it to our wallet. Uh, there might be fees involved there, but also typically those are the fees of that platform. Eonit Gonzalez Nistal, puedo cambiar? Uh, can I change the color of my engrave uh, or is it already too late? Um, yeah, so this is something you could only do during the pre-order in uh, June, June uh, so during the Indiegogo campaign. So right now uh, we have produced all the, the metal casings and we are not in, able to create any other colors uh, at this point. Then Steven Hendricks. Hi, Engrave provides a mobile app to directly sync all the generated accounts from the zero. Uh, is there also a software for desktop like Exodus? Um, yeah, so that depends on the demand for a desktop app. So we will be, we have it on a roadmap. We know more or less what it takes in terms of development. Uh, it depends on the prioritization and where people actually would like it. If, if they really, really, really need it, then it's gonna be uh, closer up to the beginning of the, the roadmap, but I can't uh, give any guarantees on that yet. Um, Leonid Gonzalez Nistal, Amanda me um, esa que tienes ahí con todas esas monedas. <laughs> yeah, so I guess you're talking about uh, the app I, uh, I showed with the balance on it, and that I have to send it to you. So um, yeah, it's it's not it's actually it's it was my phone. It's the one of Xavier, our, our CTO. Uh, my my phone is somewhere uh, laying around here. Um, para cuando salen a la venta? Uh, that I don't understand. So maybe you should give a bit more context. Tatcon, will there always be, will there be ways to continue to back you, merge, possible IPO, etc.? What's next? Uh, yeah, so um, merchandise for sure. Possible IPO. Would, would love that, but I think it's a bit early to talk about that. But um, the way we see it, uh, so our our core purpose of the of the of the organization is to um, is to empower people to take true ownership of, the, of what is theirs, to empower, empower people financially. And today that starts with you. But in a few years from now, we hope it can also be uh, in the, the same in developing countries. Um, so our goal is to empower as many people as we can as many businesses as we can and uh, foster worldwide blockchain adoption while we're at it. And so um, from that perspective, we will never be finished, right? So an IPO will pro probably be on the on the road towards uh, the empowerment of, every, of everybody. Um, if you talk about STO, like security token offerings, it's something we've talked, we've thought about already a lot, but um, we're not convinced yet that we should be doing that anytime soon. Um, and in terms of regular investments, you can you can contact us and we can see if there are op options. Uh, Jonathan Peters, thanks so much for your hard work. What is the future of Engrave? Did you do well with your pre-sale? Will you be here to support us five years, uh, 10 years from now? Yeah, so that kind of comes together with what I just answered on the, let's say, IPO idea. Um, yeah, for us, we see ourselves Still, still being right here with you within five years, within 10 years, we already have an internal roadmap of all these other new innovations we want to bring to the market in the next five years. And 
and when we think about five to ten years from now, we really think about how many people have we empowered, how high is the peace of mind um, of these people. Uh, so, so really, basically making your life extremely easy when you're uh, managing anything that is yours in a digital digital sense. Um, does Engrave have accessories by Jelle van der Waal? Yeah, so we, we got the question, for example, about casings for the device. So basically putting the device into sort of Eve or something. Um, we didn't do that yet, but I think it kind of makes sense to do that. Um, so it's, it's an option that we may offer in the future. Yeah, and meanwhile, I also see that uh, yeah. So the 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 affiliate link is posted in the chat if you will be looking for it. And also, uh, uh, you're mentioning does Engrave have accessories? I gave an example, or you gave the example actually. Um, if you have any other examples or things you are dreaming of, just let us know. We always keep tabs of um, anything that comes in from your side and. And we also discuss it internally. So if you have crazy ideas, we love crazy ideas, just send them over. All right, maybe a few more questions because I were, we're at, the, at the last one. Thanks in any case for uh, all of these amazing questions already. Thanks for your amazing support as well. Um, yeah, I think what you should know is I think it's, it's interesting, because I still have a few minutes to emphasize that uh, from our side, we started uh, in April 2018, the three of us, because we asked ourselves a very simple question, which solution in the crypto market or beyond would we trust with our very own first or last Bitcoin, even our identity, you name it, any kind of thing that's digital. Uh, and today, everything we have is digital. Um, and we couldn't find an answer. So that moment, two and a half years ago, uh, 32 months ago, actually, uh, that's a long time. That's when we decided to build this. And it took us a long time to, to build this because we, we wanted to build it perfectly. Yeah? So I think one thing we should definitely emphasize is that uh, we could have been ready one year ago. We could have built a, a stripped phone. So we could have taken a smartphone model, stripped it down, taken away some features like 4G and NFC, the way they can do Wi-Fi uh, um, connections. And we could have just said, okay, this is an amazing, amazing shell. We can use it. We can put an Android uh, operating system on that. And basically we would have been ready more than a year ago. But that was not, that was not the thing we were trying to build. We were trying to build a device that would be your ultimate companion in securing everything you have, everything we have also, because we're also users of the device. And that meant we had to go uh, to the extremes. So we said, what is the highest security certification you can achieve? It's EAL7. Um, who else has EAL7 in the space? Nobody. But that, that, didn't, that, didn't, that didn't matter for us. For us, what mattered was that if this device is your secure body, it needs to be the highest level it is. And right now, for example, one of the last steps we have to do is we have to flash that secure firmware on our device to make sure it takes over all those secure, um, or let's say the security sensitive uh, functions. And this is something that's never done before. So the, 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 the challenges we get there are very special, very specific, but, we, but right now, eh, after 32 months, we know exactly what they are and we know exactly how long it will take to, to to, um, to, to do these last steps uh, for, for your device. And so we could have been completely done a year ago with the half-baked device, but we decided to go for the full full thing. And the one, when you, once you will receive it, you will, you will hopefully, that's what I hope, what, what I believe actually, is that you will, you will be very happy about your device. We think we have done something even better than what we set out for to do. Um, and we also are in the of, backers, right? We, you can find us in the list of Indiegogo backers We're right there. We bought our own device and we told ourselves we will not get our own device before any of these pre-orders gets theirs. So we're the last ones in the, in the line from the current orders. Okay. Um, see, then Jared, Mr. Transfer about staking, will there be support? Yeah. So we're great, big fans of supports. Uh, 
as you can as you, as others can see i think the question was asked at least three times uh, in this session so yeah we know it's important and we're on it then in your face will engrave wallet display live price data instead of liquid app um, well the zero works completely offline so you could do that by let's say uh, letting the uh, liquid communicate prices in real time to your zero but obviously that wouldn't make sense the whole idea is the reverse it's that your private keys remain offline on zero but at the same time, at any point in time, you have access to uh, the live stream of what happens with your portfolio. And you can look at it with full peace of mind, knowing that nobody can steal it because the real keys are offline on zero. The other way around, it would be a very hassle and obviously you would have to communicate again and again and again to know the exact prices. That's, that's the idea of being offline. Leonid González Nistal, okay, entiendo y agradezco todo el sacrificio que hacen y estamos muy, I will, I will translate. Um, I understand and I'm very grateful for the sacrifice you've made um, and we are very surprised and happy uh, for the team. Uh, let's see, in todos sus avances and all your uh, advancements, but it would be it would be good if uh, you could think about the Spanish channel for the for the Spanish speaking community. However, your Spanish is, uh, is um is, is good great uh, whatever uh, th uh thanks a lot yeah so leonid first of all in any case if you have any questions just send it in spanish to support and we will answer it um the device will be in sp will be translated in spanish so it will be supported and we are also very um very eager to to build the and to grow the spanish or hispanic uh, or spanish speaking community and um you can already find videos of me speaking Spanish about the product with some influencers online. Um, but, but from your perspective as a customer, the Spanish language will be supported and there will be coming a lot more content in Spanish. And for example, also tutorial videos will have their own Spanish, at least subtitles and maybe more. Alice, Alex Magnus Bokes, what's the expected project lifespan of current Engrave Zero before the next model upgrade, so like a Zero version 2.0? researched and forecasted based on technological trends and developments, and et cetera, if done so, meaning the device itself, as current model software future upgrades are supported and upgrade via firmware updates, correct? Uh, yeah, so there are two things. First one is, is the device needs to stay up to date. We do that with uh, firmware updates. Uh, these firmware updates, they take place through this special uh, USB uh, port that we have. Um, the USB port is fully sandboxed of the rest of the device, which means that it is not a physical attack factor to get into the device. And the device itself also has to go into a secure boot mode when um, when you actually want to do a firmware upgrade. And then there, the interesting part is that the whole upgrade takes place through the EAL7 secure operating system. So the most secure operating system in the world takes care of your update. So for us, we it is not a moment that you need to be anxious about anything that could that might happen that might occur to your your funds your funds will be safe um and so that means that whatever happens in the future just like with the tesla car if if we have new features the, you will be able to get them on your zero safely and then the second part of your question uh, will there be a zero 2.0 uh i would say of course uh, so there are many things we will look into that. Um, for example, by the biometrics we're using today is fingerprint. We did that deliberately. Uh, we we talked to users. We checked how they um, reacted when there was instead of a fingerprint a facial recognition. For example, well, this is a security device. Most of these people said we don't. Um, well, we don't feel comfortable with our security device looking us in the face, right? So that's why we went for fingerprint. But um, at, now that facial recognition becomes more and more something that people trust, uh, we will be going more into that direction for new versions. You also have like specific, specific uh, you, have, you have a whole range of biometric things you can do. Um, so a zero 2.2 will definitely do something there. Um, there might also come a camera on the front for uh, very big transactions uh, because they need sort of a simultaneous communication channel between uh, the two platforms that interact for signatures. Um, so there, we actually have around 70 projects in our backlog that are all about um, building a new generation of zeros. The time that will take, well, if you want to build a solution like this, it takes you two or three years with the, um, and you work together with already the best in, in the world. So I, I think you can expect something similar in terms of timeline that it will also take to maybe three years. 
to the moment that we ship it to you. Um, yeah, and maybe also interesting is that we work together with many of the world leading minds. So for example, the COSIC is one of our partners. They have invented the worldwide encryption standard today used in your WhatsApp to, to uh, encrypt, encrypt messages. They also are used for Telegram. Um, the, officially, the US government uses them for secrets. And post quantum cryptography standards, which was a competition of four years, they also won. Uh, so there will be the next uh, algorithm for the post quantum cryptography uh, idea. And as you can imagine, part of our team, they are actually so, so close to us that we can work together with them to integrate those algorithms as one of the first. And that's also important in our the way we, we see our business going forward. All these strategic partnerships are very important. Um, yeah, but so your, your device, our goal is not to have it replaced in two years for you. You can still use it. It will still be irrelevant uh, two years from now. Is a Discord channel or whatever planned instead of Telegram to talk more easier with all the backers? Uh, for Discord itself, we don't have direct plans. Um, but as a team, the resources grow. We we won't we, we definitely don't exclude it. Um, and we are also um, actually um, setting up a platform uh, that we're testing for customers where they can actually read, ask questions directly about threats, discussions, AMAs, um, crowdsourced uh, roadmaps. And there, there is an amazing platform that, that, that we know, like a business partner of us. And we, we could use a platform like that in the future. That's even more, let's say, focused on you as an engraved user than a Discord group uh, would be. Then Mele, Meleagant, what would be for you the absolute gold one of the 10, 20 years? What technology is germing right now, but too unstable to implement today? Um, yeah, so so there exactly the question the question comes down to um, can we predict the future and what will the what will the future be? And that's why we surrounded ourselves with the, the thought leaders in the world, right? So Jean Jacques Quisquater is is he, he's the one of the three founding fathers of blockchain, together with Scott Stranetta and Stuart Haber. He was doing blockchain 40 years ago in the 80s. Uh, and he has been asked to, about putting backdoors in devices, whether or, or not he accepted that, the, those, those uh, um, invites. But um, he is one of the leading minds today still. And he is one just one example of the people we have in our team that help us predict the future. At COSIC with the post-quantum cryptography standard, just another example of people who predict the future. Um, and by having all of them around us, we already know the future before it is there, right? And that's how we intend to implement uh, wallets. I think also, if you talk about the absolute cold wallet in 10, 20 years from now, maybe it is something that has evolved more towards software. So you have cryptography like multi-party computation, polymorphic encryption. So you have all of these special uh, cryptographic um, site branches uh, that um, have taken a long time to become relevant. Uh, for example, MPC, for those who know it, it's been around for, for decades. And only now you see real implementations and it even is popping up in crypto. Um, right now we see them more as complementary to our solution, but they can work together. But in the future, it might be different. Um, so I cannot yet predict how that will be, but I know the people who can. So I think we're more or less at the right last question. Eh? So um, see if there's still anyone there. No, actually that was the last question. Okay. so. I think it's the best moment now, right now, to um, to wrap it up, to wrap this up. So, whatever you have in terms of concerns, questions, just uh, send an, an email to support at engrave.io, and from there we can help you through whichever challenge you you need. If you have feedback um, or ideas or even something crazy you're thinking about that you really want to send us, not a virus, please, but anything else. Uh, feel free, go ahead. Um, I think it's important that we put all our minds together and think about, um, and maybe you think about things that we haven't thought about. So thank you very much for, for joining in. I see we were about around 50 on average. So that's, I'm very happy with that. And uh, yeah, spread the word. And you, you also know where to find me. Yeah? I mean, I'm available on LinkedIn, Twitter, 
feel free to follow me or uh, or whatever you you want to do. Um, will this live AMA be recorded and be available? And yeah, so that was the last thing I wanted to say. The AMA remains available um, along with subtitles normally, yes. So if you look at the last one we did, you will you will see exactly how it works. Uh, so this one as well, uh, it will be online, subtitled. I think you will even be able to see the live chat during the conversation. So yeah. Yeah, thanks a lot, Tian, and uh, this uh, back to you. And uh, till next time.